We're looking at KNT Netball now on the Friday Night Sports Show, and it is grand final time this weekend. Sally Bywater's on the line with me to give us a massive preview of this weekend's grand final between Keith and Panola, top two teams all year. Sally, we probably shouldn't be too surprised, should we? Absolutely not, and it's yeah, great to be here on the grand final eve, and we're really looking forward to this week's game. Absolutely. Grand final eve, it is massive game tomorrow at Narracourt. First of all, how are the preps going uh, down at Narracourt? Are you aware of, um, yeah, I'm sure they've been working nice and hard getting everything ready for the big day? Absolutely, they have. They've had some working bees to get already. We're going to have some fantastic weather and they're ready to go. They haven't had a grand final down there for over 10 years, so they're really looking forward to this year. All right, very good. Well, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves because we do need to talk about the prelim and how Keith have found themselves set up for a rematch from the semi-final where Panola, quite frankly, flogged them two weeks ago. They won by 22 goals, but Keith bounced back to have a four-goal win over Lucendale to book their spot. So it was a heartbreaker for Lucendale, 43-39, to the final score. How did it all go down? Yeah, so we had a fantastic game here at Border Town last week in the prelim final. It just got off to a real flying start with Keith initially controlling the game, but Lucendale fought back in that first quarter and they were level at quarter time. But then, yeah, for the next two quarters, it was really all one-way traffic to Keith. They're up by four goals at half time and extend that lead to seven at three quarter time. So they were playing some really good netball. Lucendale really fought back in the last quarter, winning that quarter by three, but that four-goal margin was in Keith's favour at the final whistle and in pretty good conditions last week. So they had a bit of misty rain coming in, so thank goodness that didn't eventuate. But other than that, a great game for netball and a great game all around by both these teams with Keith yeah, finishing top at the end of that minor round of making their grand final appearance for about the seventh time in the year in a row. There you go. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of a bad luck story for Lucendale. Like we said all year, they were sort of the smoky, and then before we knew it, they were a, a really genuine contender, and they've only missed out on the grand final by four goals. And, yeah, they broke even in the first quarter, won the fourth quarter by three goals, and it was just those middle two quarters. Third quarter, they call it the premiership quarter, and, yeah, Keith just able to get on top there. So they are marching on to a grand final. Now let's talk about this grand final it, it was the top two teams all year. So as much as there were some really good challenges and, and Lucendale being the, the best one of them after a sensational second half of the year and a great final series, uh, as much as there were challenges, these were the best two teams all year. So it, it's good to see them playing off in the grand final. We want to see the best teams in the, uh, the last game of the year. Absolutely right. That is correct. We have talked about these two sides being up that top three all season. So they are really deserved play to be playing in this grand final and I can't wait to see this one unfold. All right, so give us your thoughts. How do you think the game is going to go? Are you expecting to see anything out of the ordinary? I, I would assume we will because, like I said, they played two weeks ago. Keith lost by 22 goals. So they've had a look at their opponent. They sort of probably have a good idea of what they need to do differently. So, yeah, how do you think it's going to play out? What do you think will be different from that game two weeks ago? I really hope it's a lot closer but from the spectator <laughs> point of view. That's definitely for Certainly. sure. So Panola played some great net for two weeks ago and they really are a power horse of this competition. But Keith, as I've said, they've played the last seven A grade grand finals and they're looking for back to back premierships. So I think we'll, I think Keith will regroup from that game. They will know what went wrong and hopefully can play much better netball this week. All right, so we're looking forward to a cracking game there. Are there any specific things that you think we might see differently in terms of maybe positional changes or lineup changes from Keith or maybe even from Panola because they don't want to get complacent and think, well, we won two weeks ago, we'll just come out and win again. They might be thinking ahead, sort of, um, you know, playing chess, not checkers and, and thinking two moves ahead of Keith. Absolutely. And I think they both have pretty settled starting seven. So I think we will see those starting seven start this week. And But anything can happen. We have Steph Lubke who plays for Keith. She can play at either end of the court. So that could be a change we might see part way through this game if things aren't quite going Keith's way. And also Emily Richardson's just during the week, she was awarded the most consistent of the A-grade competition. So she was third in the association. So that would give her a confidence booster at goal attack. But again, we have and I've spoken about these ones most of the year. April Possingham at goal shooter is a real focal point. She'll have that height advantage in that circle. And young Tegan Lithgow from Panola as well. She's played a great season. Only a young um, girl new to the club this year, but she's been shooting absolutely phenomenal at 100% last 
in two weeks ago in that final. So great matchups all over the court with anything can happen. All right, and that will not be the only game going on at Narracourt on the day. It will certainly be the main event, and I'm really, really excited to see how it plays out. But we've got plenty of other grand finals going on, and, well, Panola are in all the senior grand finals, so it's been a fantastic year for them. Not done yet. They certainly want to get uh, a few medals handed out before the day's over, but, yeah, a, a monumental achievement to get all their grades in the seniors onto uh, grand finals. Absolutely. I, I don't think we can see this very often at all, but a great congratulations to Panola for getting all four senior teams into the grand final. And again, they've been on top of the tables, probably in the top three in all these four grades all season. So well done to them. And let's hope they get a bit of silverware for their collection. Absolutely. And Panola are one of the good stories. Another one is Narracourt because they're hosting the day and they do have a couple of teams in the grand finals. So let's start with the A reserves, Narracourt taking on Panola. Narracourt, any chance to pick up the win in front of their home crowd? I mean, they're in the grand final, so you'd think they're some chance, and they went 15-1 and one through the season. But, yeah, how do you think this one will go? Absolutely. They probably have been the power horse in A reserves competition this year, and they had a five-goal win against Panola two weeks ago in the second semi final. I think they'll go in here as favourites. In their home court advantage, hopefully they've got a good crowd there watching them and cheering them on. So I think they will win this game in a close one, but it'll be great, again, matchups all over the court and a really consistent um, effort needed by all teams. All right, and we'll get some quick tips from you now. And we'll start off with the Junior Div 3 Grand Final because that will be Narracourt's other appearance on the day in front of their home fans. So that one will be Narracourt taking on Kaibi Bolite. Who wins that one? Yeah, I think Harvey might get the win in this one. They've had a great season here and they had a great win against Narracourt again by 15 in two weeks ago in the grand final. So Narracourt will have to bounce back. I know they've don't have their 13As in this um, week, so that's a few players that play in that both grades. So they want to be playing the one game this week, which will be great for them, but I think Kybe will get the win. All right, the tip is in for Kybe in that one. Let's get back to the seniors, and in the B grade, it's Panola taking on Border Districts. So Border Districts, they had a great year in the A grade, sort of until the finals when they fell out of the top two, then they fell out of the top three, and then they were out in the first week of finals. But obviously a very strong club because they're through to the B grade grand final. Uh, coming from second on the ladder. Yeah, a great effort by them in this grade. And these two teams have been top of the ladder all year. Borders had a great win last week by 12 in the prelim finals. I think they'll be favourites in this game. They've run us up last year. They'll be wanting to get that flag this year. And the last flag for the B grade in Border Districts was 2016. So a great game here, but I'm Panola tipping this one. All right, Panola undefeated there, so they will certainly be tough to beat. In the C grade, Mandala taking on Panola. Who wins this one? I'm actually going to tip Mandala in this one. They probably surprised Panola a couple of weeks ago for Panola's first loss for the season, and they played some great team netball. So I think they'll take that into this game and get the win. All right, Panola again undefeated in that grade until the final, so that one should be interesting. And in the juniors in Division 1, it's Panola again. They're taking on Kingston. Yeah, another fantastic match-up here between these two clubs. And Kingston were top of the table and only had that one loss all year, which was two Panola through the minor rounds. And again, they lost two weeks ago by eight. I think they'll bounce back this week, and I'm sitting Kingston for a win in this one. And in the junior Div 2s, Border Districts taking on Keith. Yeah, another good game here between these junior sides. There's lots of talent in these two teams. I think I'm going to go for Keith in this one for a close game and they'll bounce back after they lost in the second semi a couple of weeks ago. All right, and our last grand final, the 13 and under A grades, it's Border Town taking on Kybe Bolite. Last tip for the day. Yeah, I don't want to put the mockers on a team that's undefeated all season, but I do think Border Town will get the win in this one. But it'll be a fantastic game because, yeah, Kyle has come from third spot to take them on this week. So another great game in this junior grade. All right. Thank you, Sally. Huge day at Narracourt tomorrow and can't wait to see who comes away with all those grand finals, all those premiership cups. Good luck to everyone involved. Sally, you enjoy the day tomorrow and looking forward to having you back next week for our last uh, netball wrap of the year in the KNT. Sounds wonderful. Thank you very much.